Fight! You'll never be scared of bad guys if you know the techniques of effective self-defense. Megan is in a good mood and doesn't expect anything bad. But here it comes. A criminal is on the other side of the fence. Then he jumps into the yard. And he attacks the girl, even putting a handkerchief on her mouth. In seconds, Megan finds herself in the back seat of the car. With her hands wrapped in duct tape. What should she do now? It's a desperate situation. But it's not that hopeless. Take an earring off. Now you can use it to rip the tape. Bite the earring and... Freedom! But here comes the bad guy. It's too early to relax, so pretend to be afraid and lie back down. The kidnapper confidently sits behind the wheel. It's a good time for a life hack with a scarf. Throw it over the kidnapper's neck and tie him to the seat. You can run away. A scarf in exchange for freedom is a small sacrifice. But not every mugging has the same setup. Sometimes girls can attack too. A good example is these two girls and one's got a bat. I think Tyler's in danger. What can he do? He can act. Oh, oh my heart. Oh. It hurts! The girls get scared. They weren't expecting this. What if he died of fear? All because of us? Yeah, I don't think they are going to realize that this heart attack is just a little improv. Well, the girls discuss. It's time to go. Wait, where is he? Did he vanish or something? There are different types of students in college. Here's Nikki, a good student, reading a book. But she's being harassed. He's being so aggressive. The situation is getting bad. But even a worm will turn. Hit the spine of the book on his fingers. One, push the bully back with a desk. Two, and now, cherry on top, hit his head with the book. Lie down, get some rest. Even when you were just hanging up your laundry, you could get attacked. Nikki, dressed in a blanket cover, decides to prank Megan and attack her. That wasn't a great idea. Megan's got a clothespin in her hand, which goes oh. straight on Nikki's nose. Does it hurt? It hurts so bad! Work day's over. Time to go home. Okay, got my bag. We're good to go. But this young man decided that the end of the day is the best time to commit a crime. And take the bag away from Megan. Unfortunately for him, she's wearing high heels. A kick to the chin is very unpleasant. And in shoes like this, it's even worse. He just got a heel right in his neck. That'll teach you to think that women are weak. A lonely girl is the perfect target for attack. And Nikki's at risk of becoming one. This thief is super determined. He's threatening her. And she seems scared and willing to do anything to make him have mercy. But she's just pretending. She tricks him into thinking she's defenseless. She hits the robber's Adam's apple with the side of her hand. It's a very painful technique. Then he releases his victim. <coughs> And she can get away. <coughs> Megan leaves the house and has no idea that she's being followed. The thief's goal is to take her phone. Why do I feel like there's someone behind me? The mugger keeps following. She's doing all kinds of tricks. But Megan's already aware. Okay, she needs to check her wallet and hide it securely. And now it's time to trick the thief. Hello, honey. I'm already here. 
What? You'll be here in a minute? You brought your Doberman with you, right? Talk as casually as possible. I don't think a thief needs any extra witnesses. Or a dog. Minus one problem. Make sure the criminal knows you have someone to protect you. Mmm, finally, my favorite donuts. Put the donuts on the plate and place the empty box in the trash. Evil is hiding behind the cupboard door. But Nikki doesn't see it yet. Oh, here I come. She's not scared, she's determined. Let's start the show. Throwing plates is a great way to confuse him. That's smart. Ah, most importantly, it's effective. But the donuts will have to be moved. Well, at least you can use one instead of a gag. Here comes the final plate. Sometimes sitting at the computer, you get so carried away that you don't notice anything around you. And suddenly, there are some suspicious sounds in the house. Did thieves get in? Look out the door carefully. Oh no, it's a robber. I'm so scared. You need to turn off the lights and hide. Start by getting a flashlight. It's a great way to confuse a thief. Blind the thief with a flashlight. He's thrown off his rhythm. Now you need to grab his wrist, twist it, and pull the arm down. The enemy is neutralized. Now you can run and call for help. Running into an aggressive guy on the stairs is not the best moment of a girl's life. But it does happen sometimes. Which means you need to know how to stand up for yourself. Squat down. Punch the attacker in the groin. And then in the jaw. Bye-bye! Run, Megan, run! A fight with a guy can take a big turn. The girl decided to kick her boyfriend out of the house, seeing traces of treason in the form of lipstick on his neck. But the boyfriend doesn't want to leave, and he's banging down the door. Let's take advantage of this. You need to pull the guy inside, then pinch him with the door and push him out. Phew, I just took out the trash. Artists are delicate and defenseless. And sometimes, people with bad intentions can take advantage of that. So, Megan seems to be in a bad situation. The intruder is about to steal an unfinished painting. Offering a handful of coins in exchange. Anyone can offend an artist. But not everyone has time to run away. A hit with an easel is what the villain gets in return. And the frame? He can keep it. Oh, these people. They are stealing my inspiration. A girl with a bag attracts thieves. That's what happened to Megan. A thief tries to grab her bag. But he's messing with the wrong girl. Megan knows a great way to disarm a robber. You have to pull the bag with all your strength. And then yank it down. The thief falls over. Now you need to run away. But she has a short memory. And now she's back to being careless. Deja vu! Here's another creep with bad intentions. But this time the girl's weapon is her purse. Wrap a chain around your hand instead of brass knuckles. And punch the mugger in the face. Victory! That'll teach you to attack defenseless girls. It's great to sit in a chair with a book. But there's no rest for the wicked. There's an aggressive guy right next to you. Can you keep it down? Nikki's words aren't working. He's even starting to attack the girl. Well, you'll have to demonstrate your self-defense techniques. Push on the inside of his arm. Ouch! That hurt! And if the bully doesn't get it, grab his collarbone. It's a very effective trick to silence your opponent. Maybe he'll be quieter now. Hush! Life is very unpredictable. Nikki and Megan are chatting on the couch. But when Cindy shows up, they immediately turn into rivals who can't share a ticket. 
Nikki uses a self-defense life hack. She grabs Megan's ponytail and pulls her head back. She tries to resist by clutching her rival's head with her legs. One sharp move to get Nikki to flip forward. But as a result, she's the one who gets the ticket. It's mine! It's mine! Megan doesn't give up so easily either. Eventually, the ticket got ruined and they got in a fight. So no one will get it! Have you ever used these self-defense tricks? We really hope not and we hope you'll never have to. But it wouldn't hurt to know them. Comment below and tell us which one of these techniques surprised you the most. Hit like if you liked this video. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell button so you don't miss more self-defense hacks from Troom Troom Select.